All right, hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm in the car and filming on, filming on my phone because um, I'm about to go into work and today's my long day. And I've been getting so many questions about my um, re-enlistment and how that works and like what that means for my MOS and all that stuff. Um, like I said, today's my long day, so I don't know when I'm gonna have time to actually film this video, but I wanted to go ahead and get it out um, and just kind of talk to you guys with it. I'm not gonna be on for too long, um, but um, yeah, so this is gonna be very candid. As you can see, I'm in the car. Um, so I re-enlisted, I think it was last year. Um, if you guys don't know, hi, Courtney. Um, I'm in the National Guard, the Army National Guard, currently working active duty right now. Well, not even active duty, I am working active duty. Um, and um, it's like a active National Guard, like te technically I'm deployed, I'm on a deployment, but anyway, that has nothing to do with anything. I'm just like kind of explaining. Um, so yeah, so I re-enlisted, I decided to re-enlist. It took me forever to like figure out if I want to or not, but I just kind of came down to the conclusion that re-enlisting was the best thing for me and my family, um, and family meaning like Kenny and I, um, and just like our future, like just kind of what's happened over the past year, 2020 with COVID and stuff. So many people lost their jobs. Um, so many people were just trying to scramble to figure out like what they're gonna do, like as far as their mortgage or their rent, their car payments, everything. And today, still in 2021, almost over a year later now, cause it's almost been a year, uh, or it's been over a year since we went into lockdown for COVID last year. And I just felt like that saved our life. Like that literally saved us. Um, we still had a job, we were still making money um, and we were still stable, able to pay off, you know, whatever debts we had at the time. And that just really just made me think like this, right now it's just not the time for me to get out. Um, also turning 26 and, or I just turned 26 yesterday actually, and getting kicked off my mom's insurance. So having to get my own insurance and stuff, even though TRICARE is not like the greatest insurance, but it's something, you know, um, until I kind of figure out what I want to do with my, uh, our basic insurance. But um, yeah, so it just kind of made me feel like, you know, it's, I think I need to, you know, stay in for right now and I may retire, who knows? Um, so yeah. Um, so yes, I, last year I decided to stay in. Um, like I said, it took me years and years to kind of figure out if I wanted to, because I wanted to get out for the longest. Um, but um, I decided to re-enlist and I did. And the whole process of re-enlisting is very simple. Um, you do have the sign paperwork, but I wanted to kind of talk about my bonus. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm 88 Mike, so this is only pertaining to 88 Mike's. And I don't know how they do it like in different states. This is just for Georgia. Um, and I don't even necessarily know if it's over the entire state of Georgia. I'm pretty sure it is. And it could be different right now because I did re-enlist last year, but I don't know if these incentives are still on the table. Um, so I re-enlisted um, and I did have a bonus. I only did two years because mentally I can't do six. Um, I kind of feel like I wished I'd done six, um, but I just don't know, I can't, I don't know. Right now I'm happy with six. Um, at the time when I was re-enlisting, like I said, I don't know if it's the same right now. Um, I, um, the two year had a 4K bonus, so I did do, do the 4K. Um, the four year had a 10K bonus and then a six year had a 20K bonus, or you could um, have all your student loans like paid off. And I don't know what it was up to, but it was like a pretty good amount. Um, they may make you, f I at first I thought on just to know it's either the 20K or the student loan repayment. I thought it was both. Um, so don't let them trick you into re-enlisting unless you understand everything you're doing. And also make sure if you're re-enlisting to read over, you know, whatever like incentives they have and make sure your bonus is secure because a lot, I do know it's possible that um, some people may have re-enlisted and then like their bonus may be retracted because they say like money, something happened with the money, like they're running out of funding for it. So make sure you're on top of your shit because that's your money guys um so yeah so i got the 4k bonus which i mean it's not a whole lot obviously um but hey at least i didn't join for free this time um and then with taxes and stuff i don't know what percentage of taxes they take out of that um but i'll still be getting you know, a little bit of something so yeah so there like i said there's a two-year four-year and a six-year 
a reenlistment on the table for Georgia National Guardsmen. Um, that's what I chose and I just wanted to kind of relay that information. I do get a lot of questions like, am I reenlisting? Am I not reenlisting? And I'm just, half the time I just didn't know, but like with what happened last year and just how grateful we were and how blessed we were to have a job, a secure job, um, you know, have secure money and just so many people out there just, even today, like struggles, you know, with like losing their job and all that stuff. So really grateful for that um i just wanted to say that i think that's pretty much all i have to say um and then yeah guys i'm i reenlisted my contract my first contract six-year contract is almost up um it'll be up in like three or so weeks um and i can't believe it i was 19 years old when i joined 26 years old i think i was like 19 just turned 20 um and i'm 26 years old and i thought that was absolutely crazy that i'd be 26 years old and like out of the army like that's like I just felt like it was old at the time now I'm 26 and here I am again um joining again or re-enlisting again or it's called extending your contract but um I just I can't believe like time has flown by and it flies by so fast like literally so fast um but yeah it's been it's been a ride um I'm happy where we're at right now like or where I'm at right now with my career um, I was going to say something else. I can't remember exactly, but if I do, oh, um, we are in the process of buying a home. I don't want to say too much about it, but I also want to kind of share with you guys like the process. Um, so let me know, please let me know in the comments if you guys want to see like the whole thing. Like I will go through every little detail. I mean, obviously like not our personal things, but, uh, I will share like the process of how you do it, what lenders that you should go with or what lender we went with um so let me know um we already like started looking at homes and we filmed it um and i just haven't uploaded it yet but yeah that is going to be exciting so um i know a lot of people have tons of questions about that and it's really confusing um especially like when you're first like starting out even for us it's really confusing so yeah anyway so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys